Hey, it's Kaylee. In this lesson, we're going to use what we know about algebraic expressions to evaluate some expressions with a variable. We're really doing algebra now. Let's go. Let's start with an example. Here we have an expression that says 3x plus 4 and we need to evaluate it when x is equal to 2. Now what does 3x mean? Yeah, that's right. It means 3 times x. It is a product. And what do we call x? Yeah, a variable. That's right. So that makes 3 a constant times a variable. And what do we call that? A coefficient. Great work. So this problem is telling me that my variable x is equal to 2. So I'm going to use a strategy called substitution. Substitution just means we're going to replace one thing with another. In the case of expressions with one variable, we're going to replace the variable with the given value. I'm going to write my expression 3x plus 4. And wherever I see my variable x, I'm going to substitute a 2. Notice that I put parentheses about around my substitution. What do these parentheses mean? That's right, they mean multiplication. This helps me know that I mean 3 times 2 and not the number 32. Great. Now we can evaluate our expression using order of operations. First, we multiply. 3 times 2 is 6. And then we add the 4, and we know 6 plus 4 is 10. So this means when this expression is evaluated when x is equal to 2, we get an answer of 10. With this next example, I'm going to show you three simple steps that will help us evaluate expressions with one variable. Step 1 is easy. We write the expression in our own handwriting. Step two, wherever we see the variable, we use substitution and plug in our given value. And step three, we evaluate our expression using order of operations. So let's give it a try. So starting with step one, I write the expression in my own handwriting. So it is m plus 3m minus 10. Okay, step two. Wherever we see the variable, we use substitution and plug in our given value. So in my expression, where do I have variables? Yeah, I have two of them, right? In my first term, I have an m, and in my second term, I have three times my variable m. Now I need to plug in the given value. Where is my given value? Yeah, it's up here where it says m equals four. So wherever I see my variable, I'm going to plug in my given value of 4. So it's going to look like this m becomes a 4 plus 3 times 4. Remember, I'm using my parentheses here because this means 3 times 4 and not just the number 34. That's not right. And then I end my expression with minus 10. Perfect. So now I have all numbers in here. So I can go to step 3 and evaluate my expression using the order of operations. So that would mean I do my multiplication first. So I have 4 plus 3 times 4, which is 12 minus 10. And now I'm going to combine my addition here. 4 plus 12, that would give me 16 minus 10. And 16 minus 10, that's right, it's 6. So this is the answer to my expression when I evaluate it for a given value, m equals 4. Amazing! Chloe is a track star. Her favorite race to run is the 200 meter dash. That means she runs a distance of 200 meters. We can call that distance d. Chloe's fastest time running the 200 meter dash is 25 seconds. Let's call her fastest time T1. Her slowest time running the 200 meter dash 
is 29 seconds. Let's call her slowest time T2. Chloe wants to know what her speeds were for each of these races. The equation for speed is distance divided by time, and we can simplify that and write it as S equals D over T. Now, if Chloe always runs the 200 meter dash, we know that the D is a constant. So we can write it as S equals 200 meters over T. But there is a variable. We know that the time it takes Chloe to run 200 yards can vary. So let's rewrite this equation when T is equal to T1. So we'd have S is equal to 200 meters divided by T1, her fastest time. So let's plug in T1. We'd have her speed is equal to 200 meters divided by, we're substituting T1 is that given value up here, 25 seconds. So we know this is 25 seconds. And now that we've done our substitution, we can evaluate using order of operations, which in this case is just division. So 200 divided by 25, that would give us eight. So that means Chloe's speed was eight meters per second when she was running her fastest race. Now we want to also know her speed when she ran 200 meters at her slowest time, T2. And we have the given value for T2 here, 29 seconds, so we can substitute. We have 200 meters divided by T2, substituting 29 seconds. And now we can evaluate. You might need a calculator for this one. It's 6.89 meters per second was Chloe's speed when she ran her slowest time. So we can see that Chloe was running at a faster speed. Eight meters per second is faster than 6.89 meters per second when she was running her fastest race. And that makes sense. So here we use those same three steps to evaluate an expression with one variable, t, when t was 25 seconds and when t was 29 seconds. Great work. Now you're ready to practice evaluating expressions with one variable on your own. You can use those three simple steps to help you out. Have fun and remember to always be clever. Hey, hey.